Hey YouTube, it's Sadia Sanders of UrbanSpinster.com where we are creating our own agenda, dispelling societal myths, and redefining the word spinster. Well, if you are like me, I'm working from home during this coronavirus pandemic. I'm able to go to work maybe a day or two out of the week. It just really depends on what the demands are. I do work in an essential field. I work in healthcare, but I am in the corporate area of health healthcare, finance, patient financial services, billing, collecting, customer service, that type of thing. So we go in as needed, but we can primarily work from home. So I'm glad about that. What I wanted to talk to you about today is CMOS. There is this trend of CMOS for your nutrition. It's said to boost your energy, be helpful for joints, can help with your immune system inflammation and of course with the coronavirus going on people are are trying to push self-care and health more than ever i think because of what's happening at this time so what i did was i bought some sea moss gummies a lot of people are putting sea moss in a kind of like a gummy bear type of form the kind i bought are from a company called Comedic Science Institute. Their bottles come like this. It's kind of like a handmade label. The print is super tiny. I don't know if you can see that, but sea moss elderberry gummy bears. So their gummy bears, uh, the ingredients are elderberry, sea moss, agave, spring water, lime, and love. They taste pretty good, but they are not a gummy consistency. So I'll take one now. I took one earlier this morning. So this is what they look like. And they're kind of like, uh, just disintegrates in your mouth. But you need to keep these refrigerated. If you're going to buy gummy Sea moss gummies or any kind of gummy type of thing online. Make sure that you do not skimp on the shipping. These, because they are organic, they break down really quickly. Like you see, it just kind of like dissolved. So you need to keep them refrigerated. I got two day shipping. The company does pack it in a styrofoam box inside of a box and they put a little pack of uh, ice. So it's like a generic ice pack that you would get from a drugstore that you might put on your head, your shoulder, whatever. So that's what it comes in. And with the two days, of course, that ice is going to melt. So as soon as you get these, you need to put them in the refrigerator right away. I just took mine out for the video. But I found Within five or 10 minutes, I was feeling the effects of the sea moss because I have a lot of allergy symptoms, sinus inflammation and stuff like that. I'm waking up in the middle of the night to blow my nose because I can feel my nose running. So it's one nostril is running, the other nostril is completely closed. So I'm having a hard time breathing. I've always had allergies, uh, pollen, dust, I uh, found I was allergic to wheat recently and because I was just sneezing, 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 I didn't know what it was. And someone told me, well, why don't you try to eliminate wheat from your diet, which I did. And then I felt a lot better. But right now in L.A., it's windy. It's a lot of dirt and dust flying around. So that's probably what has me um, irritated. I'm trying to stop taking allergy medication every day, especially something like um, like a Allegra D. Cert Zyrtec or something like that that's non-drowsy because of course I need to function during the day but what really knocks my sneezing and itchiness out is Benadryl and of course Benadryl it dries you up and you're gonna be asleep so I didn't want that but this sea moss I immediately felt my nostrils open up um, the mucus that I had it was uh, basically thinning it I could breathe. I took one as soon as I got the package delivered, and that was around maybe like one or two o'clock yesterday. And then I took one before bed. 
Now, this does not give you any kind of instruction as far as how often you should take it. I'm taking two a day because I was on uh, an Instagram and someone else was selling sea moss gummies and that was their recommendation. Now there's the other company does not have elderberry in it. Elderberry is supposed to be um, the thing that I'm online right now. Uh, tames your inflammation, lessens stress. Uh, some experts recommend elderberry to help prevent and ease cold and flu symptoms. So this is what theirs is infused with. I've seen apple um, or elderberry, either one. I haven't seen really any other flavor than that. So I don't really know what the apple is gonna do other than try to make it taste better. But uh, these cost, I think I paid about $30 before the shipping and I get 50 of these. I've seen people sell a bottle of 30 gummies for 60 bucks. If you're taking them twice a day, you only get two weeks out of that. So that's kind of expensive, I think. These, I really went with them because they were cheaper. Uh, but they do work. So you gotta think about your price point and what you wanna use them for. Now I will say iodine is commonly uh, found in sea moss or has a lot of iodine in it from, from what I'm reading. It's a rich source of iodine. So you have to be careful with that, especially if you have acne prone skin like I do. I noticed that the more iodine I have in my system, I'll break out, especially on my nose specifically when it's iodine related. And that is like shellfish. If I eat shrimp or a dish with a lot of shrimp in it, sometimes like maybe I'll get a, um, a rice dish or something and I know they only put like two or three shrimp in it and I'll get extra shrimp the next day. I have a pimple here or here. It's always my nose. So think about that when you're taking supplements that have iodine. You don't want to put too much, especially if your body is reacting. And sometimes you don't even know what your body is reacting to. You just see the, the blemish there. My dog is just walking around aimlessly. You hear all that tap, 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 and that's her nails on the floor. And they're already short. So no, her nails don't need to be good. But what are you doing? Anyway, she's had her walk, she's fed, she just has nothing to do. So, but that's my review of the Comedic Science Institute gummies. They, they're, they don't really taste like anything. I mean, it doesn't have a bad flavor. It has a slight berry, like I showed you, it disintegrates. You gotta put it in the fridge. Be careful of taking any supplements that have iodine when you have acne prone skin. I'm taking two a day. They don't say how many to take, but it's a supplement. It's not food. It's not for you to just be popping them uh, like candy. Okay, so if you have any other questions for me, you can put them below in the comments. Let me show you that I am wearing my merch, my Never Settle Urban Spinster. This is the slouchy shirt, so it has like a, a wider neckline that you can, you know, play around with if you want to. Um... The size I'm wearing is medium. So this is a medium, I could probably go bigger to make it kind of more slouchy, but this is the fleece, kind of like a spongy fleece. It's very, very warm, so keep that in mind. Comes in multiple colors, you don't have to get this color. So go on to the link below in the comments and you can get your merch. I have this slouchy neck sweatshirt and I also have one that's a crew neck so it kind of comes up here. Again, multiple colors, multiple sizes, so check that out. If you didn't already, make sure you're listening to my podcast. My last topic was, are you dating a narcissist? So some people don't even know they're dating a narcissist and not only identifying if that person is a narcissist or not, we are also talking about how to break up with them and break that cycle, okay? Once you identify this is the type of person that you're dealing with. So make sure you check the podcast out. Again, urbanspinster.com. Have my single woman's agenda guided journals there online for PDF download. And please share, tell your friends. If there's some other product that you want me to review, let me know in the comments. You can also email me if you don't want your comment to be public, all right? 
be safe out there. Make sure, you, I don't know if you're supposed to wear a mask or not. They keep flip-flopping and going back and forth. I have no idea. But I have my mask, so if you have to go out in public, wear your mask. Uh, here in L.A., our grocery store, one of the main chains, they're going to start putting up plexiglass, which is kind of hoodish. But I guess they're trying to protect their employees primarily and then, of course, the customers. So the plexiglass is supposed to go up at the cashier's um, check stand or whatever you want to call it, the register. They're supposed to be putting all this glass up. So we'll see. It's happened in one store that I'm aware of. I haven't seen it. Someone told me. So it's supposed to be coming. Um, I do know someone who has passed away, uh, Jory Mohannon, RIP to, to him, and um, condolences out go, go out to the Mohannon family. He was 39 years old, bus driver, Santa Clarita area, California, and it's very unfortunate because, of course, now you know we cannot have funerals. You can't have large gatherings, so I'm wondering how they're going to um, celebrate his life so you know you guys be be safe out there I'm really tempted to get my nails done and <laughs> see if my girl is working still working from home or or what but what I may have to do is just file this gel off and this this is hard gel this is not gel polish I can't soak this I gotta file and I do not have a drill so that's gonna be a project so um, I may do a video on that and then which products uh, work best for very brittle natural nails because once i get out of this my nails are going to be super super weak i haven't worn my nails with nothing on them no product on them for many years all right so wish me luck on that all right i will talk to you soon and you guys have a good one